Hey. Hey, you guys. This little chat is either about to make a lot of things make sense to you, or you might just not care at all and either sign with me. I think this is mainly for me to get off my chest anyway, so it's fine. As many of you know, things are crazy right now, but my life is kind of crazy. No, uh, but my life has been crazy. Feels like it's been crazy for like four years since like 2016. I think I started this YouTube channel back at the end of 2016. Yes. Thanks. Um, where was I? Yeah, but it actually started off as a joint account between me and Adam. We were actually just dating at the time. If you're new here, Adam is my husband. We've been married for a little over two years. We ran a touring Christian band together, a career basically that I had been working in since I was like 12 years old. And I filmed us traveling together. So it was very vlog style, being on the road and all that. Fast forward and we're not really doing that anymore. I've had a rough couple of years because of how that all went down. And it's kind of what kickstarted my, um, evolution, I guess, if you will, but I'll get more into that in a second. So after a few months of Adam and I doing this thing, this YouTube thing, I decided I needed something for just myself and felt more pulled towards the like self-help, more tutorial type of videos. And I did that for a while, but as I was going through some really drastic changes, massive changes in my life, my videos got less vlog style and tutorial style and more of the like really more intense topics like body image and things like that. And around this time last year, or maybe it was around summertime, I uploaded a video here and on Instagram. Um, it was, I think it was titled how I became an affirming Christian. Now I didn't and, and don't necessarily want this channel to be spiritual or religious more. I don't want it to be religious. <laughs> Um, because I believe we are all spiritual beings. Anyway, I digress. But I was going through what a lot of people call deconstruction, which is basically what happens when a person, someone allows themselves to ask the questions, certain really hard questions that lead to like basically a dismantling of some core beliefs, specifically like religious beliefs. And it was basically all I could think about and talk about so much so that I actually ended up making a podcast with Adam and this time he's here to stay. We originally used the name Let's Talk About It with Lauren and Adam, which was very long for a podcast name. So eventually we changed it to just deconstruct, which is what it is now. So if you are interested in that podcast on Instagram, it's deconstruct.pod and um, it's pretty much on every streaming site that you would listen to a podcast on. That's that little plug because deconstruction had kind of like taken over my life <laughs> in a sense. The podcast had really become and is really, really life giving to me. Being able to talk about life and love and religion openly. It also wasn't something that I really was able to do. I felt like I wasn't really able to do all that much before. So it was really freeing. So yeah, the podcast was kind of my sweet spot for a second. We eventually got nice mics, which is what you see here in front of me. And we got logic to edit the podcast. And yeah, so anyway, we got, and we still are super into it. So here are two main things that happened here. One, I had a different platform to talk about my really intense, deep, philosophical, existential topics. And two, I got nice mics. And my camera's mic sucks. I started to feel like my video content quality was not up to par with like my podcast and like music and stuff. So it, I, I don't know, it wasn't as inspiring to record, but I used to love vlogging and filming on my camera and I, I still do. So I guess that's my point to really catch you all up with where my head is at with like making videos. Know that I haven't given up on this platform or like this sort of content, video content. I'm just trying to figure it all out and figure out how to navigate it. I would love to buy a um, camera with a better mic, but at this point that's just not feasible for me. So this is what we've got. And I'm sorry if the mic is annoying, but bad sound quality is even more annoying to me at least. Maybe not to you. I mean, let me know. So yeah, anyway, on top of all that, my identity as an artist, which is what, you know, music ha was basically my identity from a very, 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 very early age. Yeah. Anyway, my identity as an artist slash musician, which I believe was kind of the reason I began 
this channel was to kind of distract me from that identity or lack thereof, <laughs> I guess. I hope any of this is making sense. But anyway, that identity has shifted immensely. My religious ego and my musical ego, they coexisted and it's been um, one hell of a ride to navigate that. Last year, I put out two singles under my name, Lauren Deliri, one called After You, and one called Gloves, and both of them are super vulnerable and super raw and real to me, and I'm really proud of them. But at the end of last year, I decided to, I decided that it was in my mental's best interest to start releasing music under a, like a different name, an artist name, to potentially help keep my identity and my worth and my music like all of that just kind of separated and i think it's working but honestly there's just like i could go on about this like for for way too long so we're just gonna stick stay in our lane here anyway i did end up re-releasing all of those songs under my new artist name earlier this year my artist name is benashi by the way which is my dad's native american name benashi and like the Algonquin language means bird. Sometimes it means thunderbird, but anyway, again, I can go into that in another time. But if you do wanna check out my music, I'll leave a link down below or just look up Benashi, B-I-N-E-S-H-I. And on top of that, I started taking steps to healing emotionally and spiritually and mentally <laughs> from a lot of the damage and some, some, some emotional traumas, but I mean, it takes time. We're all human. I have found a church here in Nashville that I love. It's called Grace Point with an E at the end. It's an all-inclusive, all-affirming, progressive Christian church, and it's great. And I could go on about where I'm at spiritually and in my faith, but I don't think that's what this is really about. I just wanted to update you all and let you know just the tip of the icebergs of all that's been going on, you know, on top of the pandemic and the Nashville tornadoes and not having jobs. Yeah, I mean, it's just the little things. <laughs> if you're here and you're still listening, thank you. Yeah, your support means a lot to me. I'd like to continue making videos. I'm just trying to figure out what that means for me. If you've liked any of my videos in the past, comment down below which videos like you really like to a kind of um, style or editing of videos that you really like from me. I'm just a creative human being living in Nashville, trying to live my most authentic life. And maybe you're into that. Anyway, thanks so much for hearing me out, guys. I hope to talk to you again really soon. And until next time, bye.